Good day, everyone. It's another day, another way to play. Today's talk with Marty G, and I am Marty G of today's talk, and I am with a new friend, Cardinal Marking, and they are from Genuine Growth Marketing. Hello, Cardinal. How are you today? Hello, Marty. I'm well. How are you? Just hanging out, chilling out. I see we got some flowers there with you. I know what's the, all the, all y'all, the, all y'all there in the background, right? Yes, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about Genuine Growth Marketing. What is that all about? Well, GGM is a digital marketing company. Uh, it's just me and my life partner and business partner, Kyle, right now. He uh, stole me away from my social media management job of years past and okay. said, hey, I got a little something better we could do, and the GGM, Genuine Growth Marketing, has just blossomed into a full-service digital marketing agency, but we do specialize in referral marketing. Referral so marketing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's got to be something behind the name Genuine Growth, because I keep looking at the name. So, I mean, obviously you don't want ingenuine growth because that's just something, a whole other connotation altogether. So mm. what's behind the name? That's kind of a big question, Marty. <laughs> Is it? Oh, I hate when I do that to myself and my guests. Okay. <laughs> Should that well, be another show? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll boil it down for you. So in this world, there are generally two types of businesses. Okay. There are businesses that play in a finite game where they are playing for the numbers. They are playing for a one goal to be the best. And there are businesses that play an infinite game that are playing not to win, but to continue playing uh, beyond their own lifetime and for a bigger cause in themselves. So genuine growth marketing is going towards that that genuine infinite growth that's not just like a quick fix or a a small boost the people that we partner with uh we're looking to ideally work with them for years on down the road and really form the relationship and really help them genuinely sustainably grow that makes sense so that i guess if anything that takes care of my next question well what makes that all it makes your business uh, so different, right? What makes your different you, so for anybody else, any other business that's out there? A lot of marketing businesses out there, right? Oh my gosh, bajillions! I go into any business owner Facebook group, and as soon as someone even so much as mentions marketing, the comment section is just like sixty comments long. Hey, I do marketing. Give me a message. Uh, but. Genuine growth marketing really focuses on ethical marketing. Uh, so we are not big fans of the fear-based, um, false scarcity sort of marketing that makes you feel bad about yourself. I mean, what comes to mind with that is a lot of beauty products um, and even things so innocent as, as food and Coca-Cola. For example, Coca-Cola is like, buy our product and you will be happy. Soda equals happiness. And without it, you're unhappy. So that's not really our jam. We like to um, do ethical marketing. So that means that we don't mislead ever. We don't inflate any claims. Uh, we like to share the, the growth and share the wealth. So we look to partner with business owners who are interested in their employees' well-being and their customers' actual well-being, and as well as participating in corporate social responsibility programs and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of weird to say out loud because it sounds like I'm sitting on top of a real high horse here, but... Well, I was going to say, it, it could come across that way, but in all actuality, ethics is a real fine line. I mean, sometimes you, you may actually probably walk away from business sometimes, huh? Because they don't match your ethical standards. Yes, we, we sure have. And uh, I have no problem doing that because we play an infinite game. We know that 
there is not scarcity out there in terms of business owners who need help. Uh, there's an abundance of business owners who need help. So we know that our, our people are out there and we have faith that we will find them and they will find us. Mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you what, maybe, maybe you and I might we need, need to work on some trades. I need a website and I'm doing ADA compliance. And, and I know we talked about a scan and I don't know, possibly, possibly there might be a relationship. So how long have you been in the, in the Eugene area? Well, I've been in and out of Eugene my whole life. Um, my Nana uh, grew up there and then she moved to Guam and my whole entire family moved to Guam, teeny tiny little island. It's a U.S. territory out mm -hmm. uh, in the ocean in between Australia and Japan. And uh, I had not been back to Eugene since I was very small and I was traveling around in a self-sustainable RV with solar panels and the whole like. And I oh, thought envy. after doing that for about a year, it's like, eh, well, you know what? I want to stick around someplace and, you know, maybe go to school. And just randomly, so many people had told me, you'll really love Eugene. And so I thought, you know what? I'll just move to Eugene. And everything fit together so synchronistically. I found the best landlady ever we're still great friends and i've lived with her or? off and on for years yeah she's awesome uh over on west 11th and uh i'm not in eugene currently i'm up in portland moved back up here after the oh, okay. panorama yep um but we're looking on moving back down there hopefully within the year okay i keep my fingers so crossed fingers crossed Okay, well, good. But you are at least in the Oregonian mindset. So, so yeah. where do you get your client base from? So anywhere? Is it, you know, do you look for just local or do you work outside of state? We're nationwide. Nationwide. Okay. Yep. Uh, we generally, again, it comes back to the whole genuine growth and like looking for good fit uh, clients for us who can help their mission and believe in their mission and help them grow. So uh, when we're looking for places to start prospecting for new clients, generally we'll take a look at the city's politics. We'll take a look at, um, you know, how diverse the city is and um, what sort of redlining policies they have, if any. We don't really choose to invest in any cities, cities that like to do redlining or have any, like, anti-trans bills in the works or anything like that. So uh, we're nationwide and in cities like uh, Raleigh, North Carolina and Miramar, Florida and right. down in California and up in Washington and all around Oregon, of course. So let me ask you about COVID because that's always mm. the hot button. And you've been in business for, I think it's about a year and a half, right? Almost two. Yep. So how has COVID affected your, your business and, and how you prospect, how you close? I mean, how has business affected your model, your business model? Yeah, that's sort of, I have sort of a weird answer to that. Because I was I like already weird working. <laughs> <laughs> right, your uncommon sense. So. I'm uncommon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was already working remotely for about two years before COVID hit. Yeah. So there was not a lot of change for me there. Isn't that weird? Um, yeah, that was the same thing for me. It's like people said, I was working for almost six, seven years remotely. People are like, Marty, how's it working remotely? Uh, Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> same old, same old. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, I think that the way it's impacted us is that we've just really had an influx of business owners who are realizing that the online presence is really important for their business. Um, and I wish that it didn't take uh, such a hard blow to, yeah. <laughs> to really push people in that direction, but uh, it's actually been pretty good for us, sort yeah. of fortunately and unfortunately at the same time. I, ag I agree with you. It's like, it's almost like the bandaid had to be ripped off sooner or later. I mean, I had been talking about digital presence for a long time with people, you know, mm -hmm. online identity and how you're coming across. I, I even, you know, I like talking on Zooms. I don't like, like it primarily. I would rather do face to face, but I know people have just been so resistant and 
now you have to. I mean, you, you have to adapt. And it's been interesting, actually. So I kind of enjoy it. Matt just plays in again. I'm obsessed with the Infinite Game. If anyone has not read it yet, it's called The Infinite Game by Simon okay. Sinek. And it is a, a relatively new book, but it has some very old concepts in there. And what you just said about having to adapt, that's a part of The Infinite Game. You know, a business is not a business just because it does what it's always done its responsibility is to its customers and to its employees. And if the environment is changing and those customers and employees needs change, then it's a business's responsibility to change along with that. Wow. I, I wish more employers that would actually read that book. So I'm definitely going to make sure I put that in the comments so people mm -hmm. can access that book. So what, tell me, what are some of your burning desires, both professionally and personal? What are your burning desires? Oh, numerous. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> oh my God, it's a fire. Get a hose. Put the fire out. <laughs> the oh car's gosh. on fire. <laughs> so we've got a real passion for the earth. Okay. Um, because we do play infinitely. And if we don't have a planet to play on, well, then that's not going to be very infinite, is it? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we put a lot of work into sourcing eco-friendly materials because one of the things that we offer are promotional products. So we work with distributors or suppliers who are eco-friendly and um, we give to a lot of eco-friendly charities as well as like uh volunteering time for other things like i just uh, participated in a couple uh get out the vote sort of type of text banks and oh my gosh as an artist there's always the burning desire to create so mm -hmm. i spend all day every day creating 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 i have a a value that is create more than consume so okay that's just like baked into my very fiber <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so hopefully you don't have this arsonist thing i keep hearing fire bake <laughs> <laughs> uh one of the one of the uh, mediums i do play with is alcohol ink and oh, okay. alcohol ink is extremely flammable, flammable and i yeah. do like to set that on fire sometimes and that's nice <laughs> i have to see some of some of the work you've done so <laughs> I, i'm always really big and even though you're in portland but we've just talked about it you know especially with the state of the world i mean th there's nothing that n no one's untouchable i mean literally the world of referral business has changed completely so i always want to make sure i find a way to get people referred right so if me or our viewers can find a way to help you What's the what's, what kind of referrals can we get you? What, what what kind of referrals can we bring to you, uh, genuine growth marketing? What can we do? What, what's the best way to help you out? That's a nice question. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, the best way to help us out is to look in your own business and define your just cause why are you in business? Not your origin story of how you got to get in business, but why are you in business? What are you hoping to bring to the world and, and advance in the world? We really want people and business owners, because we believe business owners can be wonderful agents of good change mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, they've also been not so great agents of change. They've been more like secret CIA agents upturning foreign governments. <laughs> right, right. Um, so first of all, I just, if you're a business owner, get in touch with yourself and really ask yourself, what are you, uh, what are you in business for? Okay. Uh, but second of all, if you want to send us some business, we're looking for those kind of business owners who have a mission and who also want to grow. So if you're fine just being a one-man band, then that's awesome. <laughs> Marty's like, no. 
<laughs> I'm too old to be a one man band. I need to be a one man uh, photocopy machine. I need to just duplicate <laughs> myself over and over again. I'm like, I'm listening to what you're saying. And I'm going, yep, I know why I'm doing this. I know what my passion is and I don't want to do this by myself. So I think I'm your perfect client. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so I'm referring myself to you. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can work out a trade. I love doing work trade. It's it's one yeah. of my favorite ways. Yeah. Um, and really, it's also people who have a phone driven business. So how I like to explain that is instead of do 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 walking into a a pizza shop and ordering the pizza at the pizza shop, you would call up the pizza shop and say, hey. I need a pizza and order it on the phone because that's easier for us to get you customers to right. uh, right. rather than getting them to your physical location. Okay, cool. So anything you want to share? Actually, look, first, before I say that, what's the best way to get a hold of you? What's the best way for people to track you, to track you down to get a hold of you, all y'all? Well, we're marketers, so the good news is that there are plenty of ways. Okay, that's good. Good target. <laughs> Pick <That's> your poison. <laughs> uh, we got Facebook and Instagram at Gen Growth Marketing. Okay. Genuine Growth Marketing is so long, so we just go Gen Growth Marketing. Okay. Uh, or you can email us at admin at gengrowthmarketing.com, or you can visit our website, gengrowthmarketing.com. Okay. Great. And I'll make sure I put all that in the comments just to make sure everybody has those. So I'll make sure that's all there too. So any closing closing thoughts, any parting shots you want to share with me, share with the audience before we go? <sighs> Goodbyes are always so hard. I'm so bad at them. It's, just, it's not goodbye. It's so long. It's for now. So right. long for now. Thanks for all the fish. <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> Yes. For those that don't know, we're talking Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some great absurdity in there. I love yes. it. Yes. Um, yeah, I think my parting thought is that even if you don't think you have time, please read Infinite Game. <laughs> if you don't like reading, listen to it on an audiobook. It'll really change your business for the better and change the world for the better and help you change the world for the better so yeah <laughs> fabulous all right well cardinal i really truly appreciate you taking the time to be with me today and be on the show i look forward to getting you some referrals and i definitely look forward to doing business with you folks if you have any information uh for for me or for cardinal if you'd like to get in touch with i'll have all of that in the in the notes in the comments below and definitely send her send them your business definitely send them your business and make sure that you reach out if you'd like to be a guest on today's talk. They'll, that information will be in the comments also. So I, I hope this wasn't too difficult or painful today, was it? No, this was fun. Anyone who wants to even think about being a guest on your talk, Marty, I encourage them to go and just oh, be free. out in the world. Oh, be free. Talk to Marty G. Yay. Will you enjoy the rest of the day in the flower garden? And I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. I leave the city and return with my treasure. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They want to knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Straight to the stage, they love me. love me I understand they hungry But please don't hate, that's ugly I've been sliding, shaking, moving I've been popping in my city Shawty say she love the way we do it Do it with me I be too turned up to ever give a f yeah, yeah. I ain't come no